Hi everyone, I'm Anon, Industrial Design Intern at Lumia, and in this video I will get you up and running with Lumia's flexible heater part. If you would like to add a heating element to your project, Lumia's heater is a thin, flexible and easy to integrate e-textile component. In this tutorial I will show you how to connect this heater with an off-the-shelf battery bank. This tutorial does not require any programming. Here are the components and equipment that you will need. A Lumia heater, a solder, a soldering iron, a USB power cord, some safety glasses, wire strippers and a power bank with a safe 2 ampere output. To connect the USB power cord with the heater, you will need to strip the end of your USB cord that normally connects to the device you're powering. Here I have a cheap FTDI cable. I will cut off the FTDI chip side first. After stripping off the rubber cover, you will see it should have several wires. This one has six, of which one ground and one 5 volt wire. We will also strip off the rubber cover of the 5 volt and the ground wire so we can solder them later on. The red wire usually is 5 volts and the black one belongs to ground. To double check you could use a multimeter. Next, solder the 5 volt wire from your USB cord to the power pad of your Lumia heater. Solder the ground wire from your USB cord to the ground pad of your Lumia heater. If you would like to protect the soldering area, you can tape the pads with a piece of electric tape. Connect the USB cord to your power bank. The heater will get hotter depending on the voltage you use. The heater warms up quickly with tangible heat within 60 seconds and top heat after 2 minutes. You can also use this component for heating devices or for thermochromic effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time. Visit lumia.com slash for more tutorials and useful guides.